right when we were considering sending peacekeeper, peace, peacekeepers, Newt had come to me and said, we're going to send a, a CODEL, a congressional delegation, over of about 25 um, men and women, and I'd like you to lead the delegation. I was about four months pregnant at the time, but um, they sent a doctor on the plane with me. Um, but, you know, still, uh, I went over there. Um, interesting time because I would be interviewed by Christina Amanpour, who was very interested in this issue, and it was clear that I was pregnant. Um, and, you know, I would get the, the, the mail from people like, how could you go to this area while you're pregnant? Um, I did certainly enjoy the fact that I got to go face to face with Slobodan Milosevic as a female who wasn't going to take any of his crap. And I was pregnant. And you knew, like, this was this man's worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Where has the world gone wrong for me? <laughs> um, but um, at the end, we were moving into um, Sarajevo to meet with President Izabegovic at the time. And um, all these uh, people were standing outside, you know, applauding us and, and you know, send peacekeepers, send peacekeepers. They, you know, they wanted the U.S. to come in and help um, and the situation. And so um, as we were walking in, there was a, a woman who grabbed my hand and she said, please, please send, please do what you need to. We can't, we can't continue like this. Um, and um, you, you, you need to help us. You need, America needs to help us. And I said, well, you know, that's what we're here for. We're gonna take as many facts as we can and bring it back. And she grabbed my hand, touched my belly and said, I just lost my only son. You're gonna be a mama. You have to help me. Uh, you know, and um, so, you know, I got some criticism for going as somebody who was about to have a baby, but relative to the conversations that we're having, I think it increased my perspective for what needed to be done. Sorry about that. No, that's fine. <laughs>